Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richie Plunkett here from the Puppetum Geek, and today we're checking out the Alpha R2 desktop by Alienware. Straight out of the box, the R2 is ready to go, able to run anything you throw at it, even more when paired with the Alienware graphics amplifier. Starting at $999 Australian, this is your base model i3, all the way ranging up to the 6th generation Core i7 processor, 16GB of RAM and running the new and latest NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 which will set you back $1499. Now included in the box is a mouse and keyboard which are okay, they're nothing amazing but Dell throws it in there and that's nice. As you will notice the R2 looks pretty much the same as last year's Alpha which isn't a bad thing. The body is super sleek and mostly built out of plastic but the R2 is all about what's inside that counts. Up front you'll notice two LED sections which you can actually customize through the built-in software which is pretty cool. Both are RGB so go crazy. Now it's worth mentioning also through the software you can also control the RGB lights through the keyboard and mouse as well which is pretty cool. Now a quick look around the R2, up front you would have two USB ports and in the back another two USB ports and two HDMI ports, one in and one out for pass through. As well, Ethernet, optical audio and Alienware's graphic amplifier input which we'll talk about in a bit. Also the R2 has one additional USB port underneath for your wireless dongle for your keyboard or headphones. You might have noticed the R2 doesn't have any analog outputs for your headphone or mic input. So if your monitor support that you might have to use that or buy a USB adapter. It's not a huge concern as the Alpha did start out as a Steam box so it makes sense not to have it. Pairing this on by the iconic Alienware head, the R2 boots pretty fast. Now out of the box, ready to game, the R2 ran Battlefield 4 at medium to high settings pretty well. Now I knew it wouldn't run on Ultra out of the box but it handled it pretty well on all high. After doing a bit of bench testing, the R2 clocked in at a rating just under 9000, which is pretty good. Note that this is the i7 model, so the i5 will differ. Now pair the R2 with this bad boy, the Alienware Graphics Amp, and the world is yours. The amp has been around for a little while now, and is strictly only for Alienware computers which support it. However, this is still the cheapest graphics amp currently on the market. The only drawback though is that it has to be paired with the Alienware PC. Installing the graphics card was super simple and it can pretty much take anything. It's good to check though beforehand just to make sure. Note as well the results will vary on what graphics card you do put inside the graphics amplifier. Instantly, once we plugged in the amp, you could see the results instantaneously. This isn't even the best card out there, but as you can see from the results already, the machine is already VR ready to go with the right graphics card. Nevertheless, the machine was amazing to use and to think all of this could fit in my backpack as well. Either you pair it up with the graphics amp or just a standalone machine, the Alienware R2 machine is one awesome piece of hardware. Now I know it's not going to be for everyone, but hey, if you are wanting a small machine, portable and able to play all your latest games, the R2 is worth checking out. Anyway guys, my name has been Richard Plunkett from the Puppetum Geek. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.